Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good day. Thank you so much for joining me on the Founder BB Show as I wrap up my week. Yeah, it's been a fantastic week. And I've got a fantastic guest to end my week with. I've got Sally Morrison. She's the de- director of PR for Natural Diamonds at the, the De Beers Group. And we're going to be talking about bling bling, girl. So hold on. You might get some great Christmas gifts. Sally, thank you for joining me this morning. Oh, I'm very, very pleased to be with you. Thank you. Well, this is perfect time. You know, we're making that little list and some of us have diamonds on that list. So Good. what? <laughs> let's talk about uh, maybe what diamond ring consumers are choosing now. Well, it's so interesting because um, as we go through this crazy year with COVID-19 and all these things, people sheltering at home, what we're seeing actually is um, an acceleration of people getting engaged. So many retailers around the country are telling us they're selling a lot more engagement rings. There's a lot of um, browsing going on online. And people are looking, I think, because they've, because they've sort of reevaluated their lives, what's important to them, thought about the person they've been with all year and have decided to make a real commitment. And so, so we're sort of seeing this kind of shift where people are, perhaps getting getting engaged faster than they would have done before, even though it's really not so easy to get married right now, right? So they're putting off weddings, but they're getting engaged more. I like that. I've got a couple people on my list. I wish they would get married. They're called children. But anyway, <laughs> we're not going to regress here. So how are they choosing these simple simple styles or what are they looking at? Vintage styles? Um, I, think, I think that's interesting. I mean, I think it's all about something very personal, very authentic, um, in terms of engagement rings, you know, we're seeing like very, very beautiful, simple, um, classic, iconic solitaires. I have some beautiful ones with me today, actually, um, from Zales. And then I think people are taking those sort of simple, iconic silhouettes and sort of making them their own. So, for example, uh, Michaela Erlanger, who's a very famous celebrity stylist, just did an awesome, awesome collaboration with Forever Mark. And she's taken these sort of beautiful, iconic silhouettes, but just given them a little twist. So maybe a little bit of extra pave on the band or a little bit of hidden pave underneath the, se- underneath the setting of the bezel, taking maybe fancy shapes like ovals or uh, cushions, setting them on their sides. So again, we're seeing the iconic feeling of the ring, but people are looking to make a little little personalization to it to make it sort of their own, let's say. Oh, okay. That's really good. And along with choosing, you know, these places, you know, they can't just ask people to marry them anymore. Uh, Like I say, I've got some kids, they want to have this elaborate thing and they can't do it in COVID-19. So I say do it with the ring, right? That's right. I think people are putting more emphasis on the ring because they don't know when they're going to be able to gather with family. And in some cases, we're hearing about really super simple Um, little simple beach weddings just with six people outside, you know, uh, socially distanced, all that. And even we've heard um, from from our colleagues at K-Jewelers of people actually getting married right right out, you know, um, with with the help of the store with, you know, a virtual backdrop on Zoom and things like this. So I think lots of different sort of personal um, personal sort of twists to this story. But definitely seeing an upswing in engagement. And I think we, we expect that to continue through the holidays, through Christmas Eve, through New Year's Eve, which traditionally has been a big time for people to propose. Okay. So if they're a little bit more confined in, in their proposals and things like that, so they're choosing cut and color and clarity instead of choosing maybe a bigger diamond. I like think, you, I think yeah. that's exactly right. I mean, we did a lot of research with the knot and, um, Uh, Over 50% of people said the shape of the diamond was the most important thing to them. Uh, 41% said the design was the most important thing to them and size came way down on the list. So again, we're on, we're in a kind of a a new moment, right? Where it's, people have really had to reflect on what's important to them this year. The people who are important to them this year, what is authentic in their lives. So they're looking, I think, for very symbolic, iconic things that really convey their, 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 the authentic connection, their relationships, rather than sort of a big display. Okay. And I know we're talking about people who are maybe first time married, but I've got a uh, Instagram post. They want to know, does 
the kind of ring denote your age? <laughs> I'm I, not sure what they're saying. So. I don't think so at all. No, I mean, I, I, I think we, you know, we've the sort of the fancy shapes, um, you know, come in and out of fashion, right? And but a lot of young people now are picking fancy shapes. But I know a lot of women, my generation, who have, you know, the marquee, they have the oval. So I, I don't. I think it's about personal style, not necessarily about generational style. Oh, great answer. You should be a diplomat. We need to send you to Washington. That was a great answer. My audience, if they want to get the kind of help that you've given them over the air, meaning they don't know what to choose, how do they start? Well, very interesting. Also, in our, our study with The Knot, 86% um, of people who are thinking about getting engaged start their research online. So I would say go online, look at all your favorite retailers, uh, websites. Uh, Forevermark.com has a beautiful website with fantastic photography and lots to sort of inspire you. Um, some of the other retailers we have with us here today in the studio, Zales.com, Jared.com have really wonderful websites with lots of resources. And I think what we know is that people now are spending more time online, figuring out what they're interested in, maybe going into the store for that last stage the actual purchase, but they're not sort of browsing so much in store. They're doing a lot more of their of their sort of brain work um, at home on the computer. So I would say go online and, and research for as, as long as you need. Sally Morrison, thank you so very much for this very bright and uh, enlightening conversation when we're fighting these high numbers of COVID-19. So this gives us something to look forward to. I want to thank you for that and thank the De Beers Group for being here on the Valder BB Show. Okay, so so nice to talk to you. Um, it's always good to know love prevails, right? So happy holidays. Happy holidays to you. I am. I'm 34 years in love with a big diamond. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.